travel day. We are leaving the Great Smoky Mountains in our rear view. <laughs> we didn't get to do nearly as much hiking as we like to do, especially out in that area. There's your seat flinger in action. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> the plan when we got to the Great Smoky Mountains was to start meandering our way back northeast. Uh, we have some solid dates that we needed to hit for pre-scheduled stuff, but we have just made a U-turn. <laughs> so the weirdest thing just happened. We are cruising down Route 40 in Tennessee. Uh, I was a firefighter in Jackson, New Jersey, and that is my fire truck. The one I used to drive. It just passed me on Route 40 in Tennessee. <laughs> and we are trekking our way all the way back across the state of Tennessee. That's kind of cool. Kind of makes me a little nostalgic bro. Anytime we were in an area that we liked, we would set an alert on Realtor and so see what pops up. So we're going to Memphis. <laughs> we are not, we are not going, going to Memphis. To Memphis. <laughs> Something popped up on my phone yesterday. They're just trying to bait us into coming home by sending fire trucks like to find us. Slept on it. We didn't really have any reservations leaving. I'm having trouble finding them because it's Memorial Day weekend coming up. Right. We packed up today and we are headed west. Bad time because I just absolutely adored the area. We set a little alert and it popped up. And I'm going to have to follow it the whole time we're on 40. If it pulls into a rest station, I'll pull it in again. So. You have to. You really need to. Like I'm, I'm like... I think we would both kick ourselves if we didn't at least take the opportunity to check it out. That, that hit me right now. I know it did. I know it did. We've got quick little stops, like really quick little stops, one night here, one night there to get back across the station. Just cruising along, minding my own business. <laughs> I looked up and it was your fire truck. Here's called the realtor. It's still available. It's my fire truck passing me like, hey. And, you're, and the worst was like, <laughs> I was, I was looking at my phone and you could see oh, it's a oh my god, that's my fire truck! <laughs> she is expecting us this weekend to go check on this little house. I now I know what Tom Hanks went through when like Wilson floated away. I was like, no! Ah! Ah! Wilson! <laughs> I didn't get to say goodbye. <laughs> this guy's gonna stop the PC. <laughs> I'm gonna call this call the chief like yo. I just need to come take a selfie with my, 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 my I just, I just, I just want to give it a, a hug. There she is. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> this is stupid. It's a rescue mission. <laughs> Are you going to rescue it? Yeah. They need the fire truck. Just, that's my truck. You jump over here and hold the wheel. I'm going to jump on the back of that, and we're going to do some night rider shit. <laughs> I mean, it might look like some Dukes of Hazard shit, but it's definitely not gonna look like Fast and Furious. No. <laughs> the fire truck had full off into a waste station, which gave us the opportunity to catch up. So now we are right behind the fire truck again. My truck's right there. <laughs> I don't know how long we're gonna be able to maintain staying behind him, um, but but Doug's gonna do everything in his power oh, yeah. to oh, get yeah. a selfie with his fire truck. Oh, we are doing some Night Rider stuff. We're gonna get up next to it, Fast and Furious right up in there jump in the truck and pew. He has a lot of faith in my driving abilities. I don't care about that. <laughs> you can wreck our house. I'm getting my truck back. <laughs> We're do this Jesse James style. You hold it like a like train robbery. Like, come on. I'm going to go right out, right out the passenger window. Have you ever practicing your, your diving flying ability? No. no. We're all vested in this. <laughs> this is a team effort. We're going to get our last selfie downside of that being this driver has no intention of stopping. We've been in pursuit for half an hour and he is not slowing down. <laughs> now you know what it's like road tripping with you. <laughs> I may pee my pants before he decides to stop. If you pee pants, I'm never letting you let it down. Oh, I know. He finally had to stop for fuel. At the same time, it's the first exit Doug's had to go to the bathroom. Oh my goodness, there she is, Annie. There's my girl. <laughs> Going up to it. That's my old truck. There's my baby. The Midnight Express rides again, just not with me behind the wheel. Thank you guys for bearing with me while I was acting like a five-year-old trying to catch a fire truck. 
Unfortunately, we didn't have the GoPro recording when the truck originally passed us, because then you would have seen my facial reaction, uh, which Loretta likened to a four-year-old seeing a Ferris wheel for the first time. Um, so she insisted that we put all this in the video so that you guys can see that she's not the only one that acts like a child on these road trips. <laughs> so now that we have successfully caught a fire truck, we are gonna have a nice romantic lunch <laughs> at the truck stop because you know it's all glitz and glamour in the rv life that's right that's right so we're gonna finish our lunch and get back on the road to and then we will see you guys a little bit later on all right so now that someone's finally done chasing fire trucks down the road <laughs> we are finally back on track headed over to our next stop for the night, which Loretta managed to find us a spot about a half an hour from here. Finding somewhere on the Friday before Memorial oh Day goodness. weekend is proving quite challenging. Yeah, and they had a two night minimum. So we're here tonight and tomorrow, and night. tomorrow night, which really, we've been hustling with driving. So having the extra night stay will probably be nice. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I mean, the, the holiday weekend is it's a nightmare so a nightmare far. to, to and try and book. Even when they do seem to have a spot available, they don't have one big enough for us. Right. We didn't want to worry about um, boondocking and have any kinds of problems because now we're on a time restraint. So that we can check out this house and, and then we've got to make another U-turn and head back northeast east. and kind of hustle going that way too to right. get back on track for the hard dates that we had already, already scheduled. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of been a little bit crazy. Yeah, this nice stress-free living has been kind of stressful <laughs> the last couple of days. <laughs> All because you wanted to go check out a house. It's totally me. It's yeah. totally me. I'm the one who wants to check out the house. Sea flingers! Oh, come on! <laughs> is this our V park in the shopping center? <laughs> I don't know where it is. Jarvie Park. Okay, so yes, it is, in, it, it is in the shopping center. Yeah, yeah, well, it's behind the shopping center. The, we're in the shopping center parking lot. And, and we're over there. Well, on the plus side, we can go shopping nice and easy. Like, we could walk to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And get Southern cooking, too. And Waffle House. I'm not Southern. I'm not going to Waffle House. I'm not going to Waffle House, either. <laughs> I think I make better country gravy than we've ever had in a restaurant. We'll say that your country gravy, Eva Beach Cracker Barrel. All right. I said what I said. <laughs> what about Joanna Gaines? That was that was pretty close. That's one. Tough. I'm not I'm not even gonna pretend that one. That's tough. <laughs> so the campground we found in Forest City, Arkansas, had a two night minimum. So we have an extra day. We're just trying to utilize it, get out of the camper, not do much. And so we decided to come out on the hiking trail. And when we get back later today. Um, we have to still find something, <laughs> so I find something in so that we can go check out this house. Um, because right now we're only reserved through tonight, but that seems to be the story of Doug and Loretta is nothing, Oops. nothing planned too far in advance, but it's all right. We'll figure it out, yeah. figure it out. But, uh, find something to do to amuse ourselves in the <laughs> And, uh, Lagoth is happy. We're happy. Beautiful day. Hiking in the woods. The solar powered big twitch trap? Yeah. That's what it looks like. We're going to check it out. What the hell does that look like to you guys? I'm it out. Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> solar powered big foot trap. It's the only thing that makes sense. That proves the government knows about Bigfoot. We're in a state park. They know about Bigfoot. We're trying to trap them. This is a pretty Sasquatchy ravine. <laughs> it's probably why the Bigfoot trap is right there at the top of the hill. Fun one through. Fun one in, yep. Everybody knows that tactic. Indians been using it for thousands of years. The only thing that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Funnel them into a tight spot, boom, right in the cage. Every documentary I ever watched says Bigfoot stinks. We're walking through the woods and I cannot tell you the smell coming up there. So I'm gonna go chase whatever that is through the woods. We're gonna keep hiking back to the lake. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm just gonna go look over this hill and see if it is a Sasquatch. Why am I recording all this? I don't know, because there's not gonna be a Sasquatch. But if there is, and I'm the guy that gets clear footage of it, I might go bacterial on YouTube. 
not viral because I'm not that lucky, but bacterial maybe. No Sasquatch. So it took a little while, but we found somewhere to stay. Yes. Um, Lots of calling around, but we managed to pull it off. Mm -hmm. And now we just got checked in, and Loretta just touched base with the realtor that she was talking to here. And it turns out that she is able to meet us right now to go check out the house. So we are on in our route. Way. Yeah. So we're going to be here for five days, and right. it really would have taken about four minutes. So. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay because we really like it here. There's lots of awesome things to do here, so we might get a round two in. Good point. <laughs> so the house we came to check out turned out to be a flop. A flop. <laughs> Definitely not interested in it. But on the plus side, uh, we were talking to the realtor and she had a couple suggestions for some other houses in the area while we were out here. Um, Loretta actually found a couple the other last night too. Right. Um, so last night after we went and checked out the house with the realtor, we drove around town and checked out a couple of the other houses to kind of do some neighborhood checking. Neighborhood checking and check some off the list that we don't need to go uh, spend any time on. Uh, but we whittled it down to two more that we want to take a look at here. So we're on our way with, to go meet the realtor now to go check out two of them. And I know you might be thinking like, why are we even checking out houses? Because the plan was supposed to be on the road for two years. Well, that part of the plan hasn't changed. Um, but in our travels and talking and seeing how hard it is to find campgrounds and things like that sometimes, uh, one thing that we were thinking about doing was getting a house that we can use as a home base for when we are in the area and we need to park the rig for an extended period of time for some reason uh, that we can rent out um, when we're not using it. And actually use as a boondocker's welcome. Right, if there's enough space on the property to set it up so that rest of you while you're out traveling you can pull in and park for the night if you guys can't find somewhere to stay in this area because it is a destination area yeah. so there's a lot of interest in it not a whole lot of places to stay no. uh, at least not for us RVers so that's the reason that we're we're back here checking out houses and we're excited yeah we don't know if it's gonna work we don't know we might not find something that we like in our budget with those space and amenities that we're looking for but right. but at least now at least we're checking right and our realtor in this area has an idea, a better idea of what we're looking for. So if something pops up down the road, then we can do that. Or if we find one of these that's the right fit, then we can move forward with this plan. And then as soon as those plans come to fruition, we'll definitely let everybody know. And you guys can plan on swinging through here when you're making your trips through this area. And maybe even get a free night to stay. <laughs> that would be great. Well, we checked out the two houses that we wanted to go see. That's right. One kind of stood out a little bit more than the other. Yep, for sure. Um, Would take a little bit of work to set on the driveway side of the house to get the boondocker pad set up. Right, we're not like gung-ho on it, but we don't hate it, right. so. It is a possibility. It is a possibility. It's not a turnkey. No, no. Um, but we're in town for what? We've got another two days two here. Days here yep. The realtor is aware of what we're looking for now. Yeah, she's um, a, she knows exactly what we're, we're trying to do and whatnot. So. Right. So she has seen properties like that pop up all the time that fit those exact things that we're looking for. So, so she said, um, you know, and, and with any real estate market, things come in and out every day. So she's going to keep her eyes out for the next couple days while we're still here. Um, and then obviously keep us aware if anything pops up in the future. Um, and we'll see what... Play it by ear. Play it by happens. ear and see what happens. But uh, we're here for another two days because we didn't know how long and how much, you know, how many things we were gonna be able to see here. But we get to enjoy downtown a little bit more because we really yeah. liked it here. Yeah. So that part will be nice. There was good hiking around here, so that's another great thing for us yeah. and Akita. As long as the temperatures come down yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I know, it is a bit humid. Um, and But then we turn around and <laughs> we get to start heading back. And I think we're gonna try to hit some Try and get some harvest hosts or boondockers welcome scheduled. Kind of offset the fuel cost of driving back out here. So we're gonna be boondocking for like three months. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, we really like it here. So we'll yeah. see what happens. We're you know, if anything pops up, we're not in a rush to make a decision. And she knows that. We know that. And, yeah. yeah, it was a productive trip. We got to yeah do 
with some interaction. We got to meet up with a friend of ours that we made a couple months ago, <laughs> which, which was, was so cool. That happened was on by accident. random, which was cool. Yeah, it's been it's been a good trip back out here. We don't regret. Kind of, I know we spent a lot of money turning around with the fuel expenses, but quite frankly, we like the area, mm -hmm. so it really isn't anything that we regret. No. So we'll yolo. That's right. Figure it out. Gonna, it's an adventure. It's definitely an adventure. An interstate adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes for days.